every game I played in, I got good stuff. And we can go ahead and cancel that. See if I get a legendary out of the legendary pack. Nope. Didn't really expect it. Did get a broad. Not bad. 8.1 million. All right. I think I'm ready to do an expert draft. Get back in on this. Let me see. What should I take for an expert draft? That's a good question. I think I'm going to take the Scrap Forge. I'm not a fan of Leyline Demon in draft. Uh, the multi card aspect is much less likely to show up in draft than it is in constructed. The thing that makes them such a powerhouse in constructed is there are so many decks that cheat with free spells. Uh, that doesn't happen in constructed or in draft, so. He's not terribly useful. Cacklebones synergizes with him, but I think any card that gives your yes, it has value. And it has times when it's useful. If it weren't if it were soft level gated instead of hard level gated, it would be amazing. As it is, it generally puts you behind on board, even if it is being used to try and stabilize. And that's a like, cross purposes. And it doesn't have stats large enough to effectively trade with a whole lot. Scrap Forge Titan, we all know. Nexus Gunner is a good card. Um, basically the ability to uh, heavy artillery something on your turn. Every turn that it stays alive. Pretty good. Charge Thief Druid, worthless. Tremor Sword can be useful, but doesn't have the health to survive. and doesn't have any way to get regen effectively. So I went with Scrap Forge. Take a bomb. Uh, here, when I take something like that, I want to go Tempest and get Battlebrand. So I'm taking the Stone back. Uh, nothing else in this pack particularly excites me, and I really wanted to go ten uh, Tempest anyway, so Stone back's the pick. Um, Blood Boil's a decent card. Colossus, not so much. Light Shield Patrol, not so much. Sonic Burst, not so much. Taking the Blood Boil. And I'll take Steed. And a Crag Walker. Uh, now we've got some choices. Don't think I can pass up the War Charger. War Charger is just a very powerful card. Although the Vault Intruder and the Nexus Overwatch are both tempting as well. But I gotta take the War Charger. It's Crag Walker. War Charger, Shaman, Shatterbolt, Ator, Nexus Overwatch, Energy Surge, Techno Gnome, Aether Tap Shaman, Nexus Pilot, Dark Steel Enforcer. Potter's Colossus, Fireman Steed, Stasis Warden, Yeti, A Seer, Aether Tap, Grath, Vanguard, Windwalker, sorry, Windweaver, Overwatch, A Seer, Dino, and a Sonic Burst. That yeah, feels like a pretty good deck. See how it goes. There's no one here to make a prediction, but anyone here want to make a prediction? Oh, there are people. Welcome, Skirmies in Vancouver. Let me know what you think of the new layout with um, Foxhole's overlay. I think I'll drop that and an Ator. If Darkstone, Darkstone is here wasn't a bad play, I could have just killed off the symbiote with it. Might have been the right choice there. But then I don't get Ator level. Ator, you know, is Ator. Hey, Diablo Soulforge. Real blue.
Forge Watch Sentry. Well, if I didn't have a Shatterbolt, that would be terrible for me. Move you over. Shatterbolt. And Nexus Overwatch. Leveling the Fire Main. Battle! Yeah, I think that uh, I like the layout. I have to give it some time. I'd prefer it if I could get different, a little bit more customization in the skin, but for free stuff from Foxhole, I don't know what else I can ask for. Now my opponent's in there going, what the heck just happened? And that's the whole reason I take Chatterbolt in draft at this point, is to deal with that stupid high armor creature. And that's an even trade. I'm fine with all of that. We'll go here. And here, buffing the Umbra Skin Yeti. Battle. In turn. I probably should have moved him over just in case he has a 7 drop. Might have been a mistake, but... I don't think it's a terrible one. And then again, he could also have his own Dark Steel Enforcer, which we just instantly killed that, so... That might not have been the right play. I think what I did was the correct way to do it. Use my life pool as a resource. I can afford to take this creature's damage, and he does have a 7 drop. It's not like I'm not going to be able to kill him next turn. Ooh, zombie infantry. That's disappointing. Oh well, we'll drop Windweaver. Move him over there. Drop Nexus Overwatch. Level Energy Surge. Move Dark Steel. Battle. End turn. Hey, a free energy surge. This turn, I'm likely going to energy surge, drop Boring Wind Weaver, move Nexus Overwatch to lane 5. And we'll figure out what other play I make when I see what I get off my energy surge. Do -do. Her. Energy surge. I should have done that first, just in case, but come over there. And drop my own ionic war charger. Battle. And turn. Hmm, it's kind of dark in here. Let me go turn on the light. Oh. <laughs> Four, eight, six. Yeah, I have a couple ways I can take care of the symbiote. Which one do I want to use? I think I have to use this guy. Drop Nexus Overwatch. Level the Enforcer. Move him over. Him over. Or her over. And then drop him there. Battle. In turn. Always a spicy draft when you... Oh, Wind Weaver. Oh, if you're... You don't think it's spicy with Nator? Hmm, that's disappointing. 
I think we have to use the crag walker here. Uh, battle. Move him over there and Nexus Pilot. And Forge White Sentry is a bit of a problem. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm cutting things off. Let me see here. Edit scene, this guy. Even here is Kage. Under capture. No? What the heck? Why is my window... Hmm. Oh, no. There we go. That looks better. Whew, really got really lucky there. I think I have to do that. Because I can't afford to keep taking that sentry damage. I'll take my six and the Yeti. Get exactly one damage on the armored creature to kill it. Stop editing the scene. There we go. Um, eight. Yeah. As much as I want to throw Nexus Overwatch here, I don't think I'm going to. I think I move Yeti over here, drop the Enforcer, buffing said Yeti, and then drop the Overwatch here. Maybe I was better off open landing the Overwatch. Maybe I was better off paying attention to my hand and realizing I had lethal. Forget that Shatterbolt can hit players. Yeah, that, that was the right play. Kill my opponent. I don't think it's going to matter. I have Wind Weaver 3 in my hand. But uh, that was a dumb play. There's the concession. All right, off to a one and zero start in this expert draft. Let's see what comes next. Yes, Vandergus, I realized that I had lethal with the Shatterbolt. I have forgotten almost every time that I have played with Shatterbolt that Shatterbolt can target the player for direct damage to the face. Oops. So how is everyone doing tonight? Also, I didn't even check before I started to see if anybody else was streaming Soul Forge tonight. Nope. Just me. Gibbler streaming. Off in uh, Hearthstone, of course. I have, according to Twitch, seven viewers. Kibler has 2,465. I feel a little inadequate now. <laughs> But I'm playing Soulforge and not uh, Hearthstone. What the heck is that? Still waiting for an opponent. <laughs> Drinking, debugging, and drafting. I found in the past that drinking and debugging don't go together so well. It's like drinking and driving as well. Never try to formulate math uh, theorems while drinking. Wow, expert draft queue. No one in it. Makes sense, Diablo Soul Forge. Still waiting on my opponents. Ooh. 
la ra 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 So is everyone, everyone looking forward to the uh, new UI for SaltForge coming this August, or not August, this fall? This does not reassure me with confidence for SaltForge's long-term viability. Unfortunately, I should not have to wait five minutes for a uh, tournament queue game. Hmm, my thing's a little bit too tall. That was better. Hey, BEC squared. Ooh, um, do I open with Ionic War Charger or Nexus Pilot? Both of them are very solid opening plays. I think I'm going to go with the War Charger because I've got the uh, guy that levels things in the middle lane. Nexus Tech, Nexus Overwatch. And if I had drawn him here, I wouldn't be able to play him and level up my Scrap Forge if I had the uh, Nexus Pilot in mid. Yes, Gurmies, there might be. I, I don't know. I'm anxious to see what they do, and I hope that they have more improvements coming with it, because... That's why a lot of the improvements have been kind of on hold, is because they've been working on the new client. So I would assume that there are some of the improvements baked into the new client, so to speak. Oh, but we will see. I'm hoping we start getting actual true previews of the new client and the card rebalancing soon. As it stands right now, there's hype, and that's about it. By the way, welcome to Diablo Soulforge, Fragonaut, Jelly Paladin, Swooty8, Twitch05, Vancouver and Vandergust. Twitch05, I don't believe I've seen you in here before. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy watching it. Alright, I was supposed to email this guy Nick Fiorio when I went out live. Uh, yahoo.com not that mail.yahoo.com uh, let's see here I want to find it there we go well I stream in currently send Open this up. DC squared is now like two and a half minutes run off his timer. Hey, it's going. How are you doing tonight, Twitch05? Oh, Skirmies, I would so, so love it if a ladder were to be launched, be with the launch. If you watch, uh, no, if you go back to uh, Justin Gary's AMA, and I made a post on this topic on Reddit myself, but he did state that they are putting a ladder in the game. It just, you know, didn't really specify when. Uh, I should probably move this over here. With my text on the left side of the screen, it looks more like I'm talking to the wall over here. Put my text on the right side of the screen, it looks more like I'm looking at the camera, because the camera's on the right side of my screen. That looks terrible. Better? No. Nope. 
That's better. Oh, so exciting tonight. I am also looking forward to something Justin Gary mentioned in his interview with Tiny Grimes, and that is some form of turn timer or time reserve bank or something to prevent me from waiting forever on somebody that isn't playing. Now, I can't fault anybody for it because I've done it. I've started up a game and had to light my daughter come running in. And, well, she takes priority over most everything else, and if there's a problem, I take care of it. All of that having been said, put you over, play Ator, play Nexus Overwatch, level Scrap Forge. I realize the Brawler is going to become an 8 8, and that's going to be a problem that I can't really handle. Um, okay, that's a way to handle it. The uh, Stoneback plus the Darkstone of Seer can take care of the Brawler for me. Unless he buffs it somehow. That was kind of a risky play. It worked out perfectly for him. But wow, that was a risky play. Because if he moves the Brawler, well, I guess the Brawler would have still lived. Hmm. I'm actually not sure I want to do what I said I was going to do. I think I would... Oh, no, I can do it. We'll just go for the board wipe. He has another Blizzard Shaman. I miss out on it, but... <laughs> if he does, I have a way to chase it down with my own with my Wind Weaver and get the value out of that Darkstone of Seer. Oh. oh, Vancouver, you missed uh, my angry dreams. I have a dream, uh, dream tree deck that I built. Ah, uh, uh, I quite thoroughly enjoyed my Dream Tree deck. It's not exactly going to be tearing up the top of the queue, but it was a lot of fun. We will drop next to Overwatch to clear the Blizzard Shaman, level up Fire Main Steed, and open lane Borean Windweaver, and hope to find a rank 2 to take care of the buff Borean Mystic. It's a very wonky deck. Um, I've had some success with it. I've also had some horrible, horrible, horrible defeats with it. It really doesn't like going up against zombies. Yep, I believe I've got the recording up on YouTube. Let me go see if I can find a link to it. YouTubes. Tubes of views. Uh, right click. Copy, copy, link location. Boop, boop, boop. Control V. Control V. Ta da! So, so far I'm liking my odds in this game. Uh, my opponent has obviously got a bit of board position on me, but he's playing a very aggressive deck, and thus far I've been able to answer it fairly well. So my cards should significantly overpower his cards later on, just in stats and level ability. Um, he's slightly ahead on board position here, but I've leveled up two cards more than... Sorry, one card more than he has, because I went first. I also have the advantage of going first to offset that, so... 
I have more cards leveled. I think I have better cards leveled. And, well, just all around things seem to be going fairly well thus far. I've got my Scrap Forge to two. I've got a War Charger to two. I've got Ator leveled. The Aesir, not so great, because I didn't level up any of my other Dark Forged. But still helpful in a pinch. Obviously, that goes there. And we'll go ahead and put Dwen Weaver over here as a blocker. Battle. And... I think we'll go ahead and trade her off. Since he's in level 2, I don't want to give him free value on rank 2 here. Um, that might be a mistake, but... I feel pretty good about it. If I'd known I was getting the Scrap Forge, I wouldn't have done that. Practically a free kill for Scrap Forge. Hmm, well, I got rid of my Wed Weaver. This is a bit annoying. I think I throw Ator away here. I don't really like that play, but I think it's the right one to make. Again, playing for the late game. Hey, Diablo Soulforge, thanks for following and thanks for letting me know that uh, this is not on top. Hmm, let's see here. Follower update. Position order move to top. There we go. That should now show up on top of everything like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw Ashmore over here. Move the stone back over to kill off the Aether Sap Shaman next turn, if in theory. Get an aggressive Scrap Forge out there. Now I have a Scrap Forge 3 in my deck. It is now just a matter of getting a decent draw in rank 3. <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, I believe. You do 3 damage per? Yeah. Likely going to... Nah, I was afraid that would happen. Uh, let's see here. Move you over. Really? That's just darned annoying. Drop you there. Damage the Rhinehorn. Drop the War Charger. Battle. That, that was very annoying. Very badly timed for me. Um, I probably drop Nexus Overwatch and Sonic Burst something and level up the Energy Surge because it becomes free and why would you not? There's nothing else in this hand I'd rather level. Brawler and Ursine Strength. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm taking a little bit more damage than I want to. And leaving the Brawler unblocked might be a mistake. Blood Boil here is five. Yeah, we kill that. Battle. In turn. Torchstone is Seer and the Enforcer. That's actually not a bad thing. Uh, that's eight damage. And with its health, it can trade off the Brawlers. I can drop the Enforcer in front of the Golem, buff something, drop the Aesir, blow up something else. Hopefully. And if the need arises, I can play those in the other order and use the Darkstone Seer to blow up the Leyline Golem and block something else with the Enforcer. Ooh. 
what are his two plays? He took nine damage there. Mender, I assume that's going to buff the Brawler. Yeah. And it makes sense. And... Okay. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot. Except give me a lot of value on this play. We do that and that. The War Charger now kills the Lizard Shaman. We do that. And the only thing... Well, I guess I could kill this one. Yeah, that's better. Get my 10 damage through here now. Don't give him the value out of that guy. Yes, it'll kill the Darkstone of Seer, but I get 10 damage through rather than waiting and seeing. Could have killed the Darkstone of Seer and lost the Nexus Overwatch. But now he still has to put another card to the Nexus Overwatch. Here it would have been... Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. They're probably about the same play. Uh, Wind Weaver and Fireman Steed. Ah, that was a mistake. I should have put the Wind Weaver in four and moved the next Overwatch in front of the Brawler. Not a catastrophic one, but a mistake nonetheless. And this hand's terrible. Kind of counting on seeing some of these rank threes in here. I've only got one, two, three, four, five rank threes and a rank two energy surge in my deck. So I'm going to fall behind this turn. That's almost inevitable. Now the question is, when I fall behind, do I have enough advantage on board state to, in, to survive it? If he drops two rank threes here, I'm going to be hurting a lot. If he drops a ranked two and a rank three, I feel pretty good about myself. He'll almost have to drop the rank three in lane one in order for it to survive the Borean Windweaver. Unless he dedicates another card to the board Wind Weaver, in which case, okay, then you've left next Overwatch and are all but dead. And then I'll need the Shatterbolt to win. So you can't ignore the next Overwatch. Whew, I haven't even been looking at my chat. Yes, Fox, it is a spicy overlay. Thank you for the uh, overlay. Yeah, I got eaten, or I got hit with the, uh, <laughs> nice skirmies. Uh, this seems like a no-brainer. I drop Blizzard Shaman here. It has the most health, so it's the least likely to be able to just be removed outright. And then Crag Walker here, because it's not only seven attack. This right here is why you draw, draft seven drops. <laughs> Take a seven attack rank one creature to be able to do things like trade off a rank two creature that's been damaged and have seven health left when you draw your all rank one hand. That was my all rank one hand, and I was able to get value out of it. Orion Mystic moves a different creature. Ooh, that's going to sting. Energy Surge. Scrap Forge Titan. And War Charger. Hello, Nerks. Oh, I haven't done this in a little bit. Welcome to Jur De Jure 1980. Dota La Roche. Uh, of course, Foxhole and Mongo Smash, Nerds, Retro Rocket, and I think it's everybody. Retro Rocket, I don't recognize your name. If you're new, if you're not new, I apologize for not remembering you. If you are new to the stream, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. I'm not entirely sure that that Blizzard Shaman move was really what you wanted, but 
Okay. For sign strength and uh, Shatterbolt for the win. Yeah, yeah, I think Shatterbolt for the win. Good game, back squared. Going to play on the U.S. thing. I don't know what you mean, Nerks. <laughs>